here to our uh, YouTube fans. Uh, Garfield sign on. Hope you guys enjoyed your new year. And all the best and great wishes for the coming year. Anyway, a quick look into my AIMS uh, infrared charger. 4000 watt AIMS infrared charger. So, here is the journey. So, just curiosity, have me uh, pull the cover off just to check this out to see uh, the beauty behind this inverter charger here. And this massive uh, transformer that's sitting here. And uh, so far, so good. Everything is working uh, great. I just wish that uh, on the actual cover itself you know they could have put a little meter somewhere here you know instead of their um instead of their display panel you know something just to um show you about how many watts or amps you know you're taking from the unit or from the battery you know onto the ac side which is your load so that's curiosity that had me pulled apart just to um to check it out because Sometime in the near future, um, I'm planning to actually cut this open to install one of these meter in here on the AC side. So that's the reason for me uh, to take this cover off, just to satisfy my curiosity on where space was concerned to see where I would install one of these meter here in the cover and right here in the cover would be the ideal spot right between these chunks of wire right here and uh, the shunt would basically screws on in the back here yeah um, but so far so good um, it's working great and yes I did shut the power off before I opened this up uh, I killed the AC going in and also the DC power. I trip, you know, shut the breaker off before I open this up so I don't electrocute myself. But it's a beauty in this inverter here. With this massive uh, transformer that's sitting here. It charges my battery. Wonderful. Um, today, Sunday, on a New Year's Day, it's, it's raining. It's been raining for the past um, two days and cloudy for the past three days. But hey, like I say, it's fine. You know, we have no sun out, but I use this to charge my battery. And that's another project I have over there. That system you see over there in the, uh, in the back. That's what powers the, uh, the up lighting around the house and in the yard at nighttime. And that system over there have 19 10 watt LED floodlight and over in the roof of that I have three deep cycle batteries sitting up there three 12 volt deep cycle battery and that's what I used to um to run the house I mean run the, the lights in the yard at night and around the house and it's working flawlessly and that's 300 watts of solar panels sitting on the roof I do um have an extra 100 watt of panel sitting down I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet because the charge control that I have down here is maxed out. It's maxed out at 300 watts. So, so I have an additional panel sitting in a box still from Renergy that I did not install. Yep, but on the aims here, um, curiosity, like I said, that drives me to open this up. You know, so in the near future, uh, maybe when my wiring tee runs out on this inverter here, then I'll cut this open. I don't want to cut it yet. I still have wiring tee in this inverter. And, you know, so far everything is working great. So, yes, YouTubers, that's just a uh, quick look on the um, inside of my AIMS inverter. Oh, and by the way, it comes with two fans. This is on the uh, AC side, 
and the fan on the side here is on the uh, DC side. And this area is a control board. That's the main board. And that's the, uh, the transformer. Now you increase the power basically to handle that uh, 24 volts, 4,000 watts uh, power. But um, yeah, over the years, I've heard many stories about Ames and they're, you know, they're no good and so forth and so on. You know, in every, in every man-made equipment, I believe that anything that man make is breakable and it's fixable. You know, likewise, I also believe that taking care of stuff, if you take care of your stuff and, you know, the value of it, it will last you, you know, a long time and years to come. And, um, you know, that's what I recommend. Take care of your stuff when you work hard for it. You know, I'm not telling anyone to buy Ames or not to buy Ames or to buy uh, Flexmax or Zantrak or not to. You know, you buy what you can afford and so on. You know, and um, people will tell you um, only buy name brand product. But, you know, I've bought many name brand product and, and um, I've run into issue just the same. You know? And uh, people talk about this, our cheap Chinese knockoff and so forth and so on. Just about everything today that we buy here in America is from China. It is from China. It doesn't matter how you want to twist and turn it. You know, it's from China. Uh, might be designed and engineered here in America, but it's manufactured or assembled in China. So um, Chinese is always going to have, you know, their hand on something where uh, America is concerned and, 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 the, and the products that we buy and so forth and so on. You know, it's just the way of life. But guys, it doesn't matter. You know, um, do your own research. And it doesn't matter what you buy, name brand or non name brand, they're always going to be good and bad reviews. You know, you just got to go through the reviews and, um, and you know, pick sense of nonsense and, and, and do for you. Do what's best for you, do what pleases you, you know, and, and, and what's satisfying to you. Yeah, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a very humble person. Very humble person, you know, and uh, don't get caught up in the hype with, you know, with people and, and so forth and so on and equipment. You know, just do you at all time and be humble. And guys, if you see me, you wouldn't believe if, if you see me. Very humble person, you know, and, uh, I hope and best, you know, wish all the um, good and great things for uh, for every YouTubers out there and uh, solar preppers are not solar, you know, hobbyists, whatever it is, you know. Um, I'm into solar because I was fascinated with it ever since a kid growing up, you know. So I'm just here tweaking with my stuff, build it as I go along, whatever little deal I find on eBay, I buy it and so forth and so on. You know, and I have nothing negative to say about anyone or any product from America or China or from wherever it is. All right. Anyway, uh, Garfi sign off. And like I say, this is just a quick look, you know, curiosity that drives me to open this in my Ames 4000 watts, 24 volts inverter. Garfi sign off.